and we interrupt this version of My Vegas Slots to bring you the Monster Squad. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and today, it's Halloween! Honestly, I can't think of a place I'd rather be on Halloween than in Vegas, you know? Um, I mean, everyone's always already dressed up to the nines and all that. You go out to the strip, you can meet Chewbacca, Spider-Man, and a large man, and a, a, I think Cupid, it's usually like a guy in a diaper with angel wings. Anyway, though, what I'm getting at is in Halloween is kind of like the ultimate party time in Vegas, and Vegas, as you guys know, is the ultimate party spot. So if you want to have a Halloween party, Vegas is definitely the place to go, if you ask me. Uh, of course, I haven't been to Salem, um, so I couldn't tell you either way. So today, because we couldn't be in Vegas, we have a trip planned next month for uh, Thanksgiving instead. What we're going to do is we're going to play some Monster Maniacs over here. Let's get started. All right, jackpot enabled. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and see what a reasonable bet's gonna be. Um, you know what? It's Halloween. Let's go ahead and go big. Trick or treat, mother lovers. Let's go. 2,250,000 chips uh, through the machine. And then let's go ahead and get this started. On our mark, get set, ready, go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to talk about during this game over here, I have to apologize. Uh, so Scott, the guy that I shouted out in the last Best Games in My Vegas series, he uh, actually did not give me the tip on it. I had actually gotten his tweet confused with my boy Jude. Now, Jude's a regular fan of the channel and hits us up pretty frequently and actually gave me the idea to play the... Uh, he actually gave me the idea to play the vampire game, the Disco Dracula game, uh, the other day. So I wanted to go ahead and give my shout-out to Jude. Although Scott, um, if I remember his tweet correctly, was um, on the on the team that did the visual design for Disco Dracula, too. So, yeah, definitely going to have to... Yeah, so definitely big shout-outs to both those guys for putting in the work. But, yeah, mad shout-out for Jude to, uh, that, you know, he was the one that told me that it was paying off big, and it definitely did pay off big that day. So mad shout-outs to my boy there. This uh, episode is dedicated to you, my man. Uh, so thanks again for that. And, yeah, we are just kind of busting through this game over here. It actually reminds me a lot of the, uh... <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? That old 80s movie, Monster Squad. I can't believe I can say that's an old movie now. It was just uh, yeah, a mo movie that came out before <laughs> that my cousins would watch. and it was, it, it was a cool one. But yeah, Monster Squad. Such a goofy movie. It's very quintessentially 80s. Um, you know, just stupid boy action movie. And it was a good time, I gotta admit. So, definitely, uh, definitely loved it. And it's got a very kind of similar aesthetic take on that, and it's got, you know, it's got the vampire stuff, and it's got the holy water and all that, so I'm not sure if it's a Van Helsing parody, or if it's just a Monster Squad parody, but that was the first thing I thought of when I, uh, when I clicked this over here, was, alright, we're doing a Monster Squad parody, let's go, let's go, although, I know on the desktop version of the game, there's like a Ouija board that's involved in this too, and we're just burning through these spins over here. And not much is going on. I know there's like a there's there's a game on the main uh, on the main game on the PC where you just kind of go through this. Oh wait, we got a wheel bonus. Spoke too soon. Let's spin down the wheel. See what happens here. Vampire wheel bonus. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Wish I had a vampire voice. You know who has a good vampire voice? Vince DiCola. He did the uh, narration for uh, Transformers, the 1986 movie. And that was rather amazing, I thought. Okay, let's go ahead and multiply this. We got a, we got a single spin on this one, so that's good. And, ooh, is that a seven times multiplier? Yeah, buddy! I think we're uh, back up to our starting uh, chip stack here. Starting check balance, all right. All right, oh yeah, a little above that, a little above that now. Okay, let's hope that this uh, this holds out and we can uh, pick up some more loyalty points because we've got trips coming up and I wanna make sure that we uh, constantly have over a million. So let's go, let's go. Here we go, let's get back to spinning. All right, but yeah, definitely guys, if I ever say anything inaccurate, uh, feel free to go ahead and call me out. Let me know. 
I do make mistakes, absolutely, and I'm not here to spread misinformation. I'm here to give the best damn My Vegas advice, period. So, all about that. Thank you guys for giving me a heads up, and thanks to uh, Jude and Scott for uh, doing that, you know, giving me the tip, and then also designing the game, too. Scott, I really hope you actually designed the game. Don't, uh, don't tell me that you didn't, like, in, in a tweet later on. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, if you didn't, you know, d definitely correct me in a tweet. Again, not, not here to spread misinformation. Just here to get you guys some good stuff and get you to Vegas a whole lot faster. It'll be a good time. All right, there's another big win. Yeah, we're hitting these big wilds over here. These big wilds are actually worth quite a bit. I'm loving this. And, like I said, love the aesthetic on the game. It's this fun kind of mashup between the monsters in Monster Squad and Van Helsing, like a cartoony Van Helsing, which... Something tells me I could get into. I know they have like an anime version of it. Uh, uh, <laughs> actually, just called Helsing, uh, although it's about Alucard, which I think is a little bizarre too. But that's a that's a little different. That's a little different. And yeah, we're just uh, crushing the big ones today. Hopefully, we'll get another big bonus before the game's up. All right, another big one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it playing. And did we get that? No, we didn't get the wheel bonus. All right. But yeah, I'm really just itching for that Vegas trip there. We just took our trip to Blackhawk, Colorado to, to do a little bit of slot game play too. And uh, we did some... I, I think you guys saw the video poker and how I got demolished on video poker, which was a bit of a shame. But, you know, it's cool. It's just what happens when you gamble sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And I'm just ready for a good Vegas trip just because the, the problem I had with Blackhawk is it just doesn't have a lot of non-gambling stuff to do. So if you get tired of gambling... Too bad. You can go to a steakhouse, you can go to a happy hour, but they have last call up there, and it's just it's just not the same. Not the same. Not the way to scratch the Vegas itch over there. All right, guys. I think we're down to our last uh, last couple spins over here. I think we got about five more after this one. Yep, here it is. Doing our last five. Hopefully, we'll get this coffin bonus. I really liked it. Oh, dang it. I wanted that coffin bonus. Really wanted to get that. Just something for our Halloween... Uh, Halloween happiness over here. Let's go. Last spin. Last spin. Oh, man. It's cool, though. We got some loyalty points on it, and we did do some big bonuses on the uh, desktop game, too. So it's all fine. I'm not even mad. All right, guys. So it looks like we ended with a total of 1,662,838,224 chips. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do some maths over here. We're going to take a quick break per usual as I uh, count up the booty. All right, guys, it might not be a bad idea to spend the 99 cents on this disco deal over here because Drac caught us. He caught us not playing his game, so he punished us for playing the other vampire game, Monster Maniacs. Looks like it had a payback percentage of 94.3%, so not bad, really not bad. Not quite good enough to get the official seal of approval from Ace of Vegas over here, so I can't give it the heart like I did with Red Rock Roxy. Or Glee Little Pigs, unfortunately, but you know what? It's still a good enough game. I'll still recommend it. And you know what? It's Halloween. Play a Halloween theme game. Play Howling Reels. Play Disco Dracula. Play Monster Maniacs and just have a good time. Because we're playing a good time pretty soon here, too. November is going to be a huge month here, guys. I've got tutorials that I'm working on right now. I'm also uh, trying to get a few things, to get, you know, just... Get, get some collaborations together, and then we're going to have the Aria trip, and then we'll have plenty of that in uh, preparation for the, uh, or excuse me, we're going to have the Aria trip um, in December. The Vidara trip is going to be in November. But you know what? Aria and Vidara, they're the same place. It's all good. Uh, just, so, again, mad shout-out to Jude for recommending Disco Dracula last time, and then mad shout out to Scott for designing Disco Dracula, from what I understand. So, good times there, and I appreciate you guys. And you know what? On that bombshell, I'm going to say Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands, happy spinning, and, of course, a safe and fun Halloween.